Hi, welcome back to Jobs and Clocks. I'm Tommy, and today we are looking at a uh, Jarasse six month duration French wall clock. Um, the uh, um, mechanism for the six month long duration is a very interesting uh, arrangement where you have this very large pulley wheel, which is this one here. this large pulley wheel here which is driven by a rope in a figure of eight fashion which drives the movement. Now this pulley is driven by a pinion driven by these two very large mainspring barrels so this whole um, arrangement gives a, uh, a long duration of, uh, of approaching six months. The downside of this system is that you've got a huge amount of power within this um, on one very fine rope which is a continuous rope with a joint in it which has to run through the system. So it has its drawbacks but is also a very interesting and quite rare uh, system. This particular clock is missing this system although it did have it originally um, and so we have done some research, found other examples with their system intact and we are uh, currently uh, reinstating the mechanism. Um, so an interesting project. Um, I've done some um, Fusion 360 drawings for uh, most of the main components. Um, so, so far, um, progress is that uh, the main pulley wheel is, uh, is roughed out. That was quite a... Um, um, a large amount of material removal um, which I did on the BCA jig borer. Uh, poor old thing is a little bit tired uh, I should give it a birthday but um, uh, it did that job remarkably well. Another component which is already completed is this which is the uh, central drive pinion. Um, this is fixed to the um, uh, central pivot that the whole mechanism rotates around um, and transfers drive from the barrels to um, um, to the pulley um, by means of a satellite gearing arrangement.
Uh, the barrels themselves are um, basically complete. There's a small amount of um, finishing work left to do on them, um, but the majority of the machining is is done. Um, they were quite a nice uh, job again. Quite a lot of material removal, turning all of this away from a solid piece. Following on from the mainspring barrels is of course the mainsprings. Uh, now because these mainspring barrels are particularly large diameter, the, um, the springs are not available um, off the shelf. Um, so uh, that means we have to make them. Uh, this is the Bergeon uh, 30076 mainspring winding tool. Um, it is uh, how it works is you wind a mainspring in to a, a barrel using a, um, um, a central arbor winding the spring in through this slot here um, then when the spring is wound tight inside this barrel you can then put the mainspring barrel around the outside and push this piston which forces the spring out and snaps into the inside of the barrel. That's what this tool is designed for primarily is putting mainsprings in but something it's also useful for is actually forming mainsprings if making them um, from scratch. Um, so to make a mainspring from scratch we'd need a piece of sized spring steel. Um, this is high carbon um, spring steel which I've had made specially um, it is the correct height and strength and obviously is over length uh, how we will um, make turn this into a mainspring is to um, soften the end form an inner hooking um, let cut the the spring to the length soften the other end uh, make an outer hooking and then we will form the inner hooking um, around an arbor. We will then use a specially made large size um, tool for the Bergeon mainspring winder. Um, and winding the spring into this will hopefully um, cause it to, um, uh, to hold the shape of a mainspring. Uh, they will be uh, quite strong springs. Um, I think from memory this is 0.55 uh, thickness which is you know for the size of um, barrel and the, there's going to be quite some power involved in that. Uh, so there are two mainsprings here. Um, as I said they were specially made. The holder because everything is, um, is sort of abnormal sized um, I uh, had to design um, a holder to um, um, to do the job and there it is it's um, um, exactly the same as the conventional ones that come with the um, Bergeon tool only bigger uh, but that was quite a uh, considerable little um, bit of work to actually um, to actually make that um, get, I did actually fabricate this it's not turned from the solid it is two pieces uh, it's a piece of tube and a um, uh, a piece of plate turned down, um, but it uh, turned out quite nicely. I'm quite pleased with it, and it should do the job very well. Um, I may need to um, turn an arbor like this, especially for it, um, but I haven't quite got that far yet. We'll see if we can use the um, one that uh, comes with the tool normally. Um.